close. We can get moving and sweating tonight. All the good stuff. So take the first few moments to let yourself get settled onto your mat, your fingertips spread out nice and wide, forehead down on the floor. I know that everything that it took to get here is now out of the way, and it's just you on your mat moving your body through space. And you'll see what comes up. So take a deep breath in through your nose. Fill yourself all the way up. Exhale it out through your mouth. Another deep breath in. Fill up. Big exhale out. One more like that. Fill up all the way. Exhale it all the way. And start building your ujjayi breath. A long inhale with a pause at the top. And a long exhale with a pause at the bottom. Purposeful and intentional right from the beginning of your practice. Downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back and move your body around any way that you need to in your down dog. Keep building your breath. And let your breath pull your attention, your awareness down into your physical body so you can see what's going on moment by moment. Walk your feet up to your hands, hang in ragdoll. You choose what you want to do with your arms and your hands and then press the four corners of both of your feet way down into the floor. Press your feet into the mat. Rise all the way up to standing. Reach through your fingertips. Bring your thumbs to heart center. Set your intention for practice. Pick one specific thing that you want to focus on. And we'll send out those intentions with three big ohms. Deep breath in. Uh, Inhale, reach up, extended mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, tricep pull if you've got weights. High push up and pause. Right knee to right elbow. Left knee to left elbow. Low push up. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Three breaths together. In, empty it out. Two more, breathe in. Big breath out. Last one. Empty to the pit of your belly. Step or jump, feet to hands. Halfway lift, tricep pull. Fold down. Rise to stand. A big inhale. Reach up. Forward fold. Halfway lift, tricep pull. High push up. Knee tap on the right. Knee tap on the left. Low push up. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe in together. Empty it out. <sighs> yeah, two more like that. Breath in, breath out. One more. Empty to the pit of your belly. Step or jump, feet to hands. Halfway lift, fold down. Rise to stand, a big inhale. Look up, forward fold. Halfway lift, tricep pull, high push up, knee tap, knee tap, low push up, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, breath in together, exhale it out, good, two more, in, exhale, last one, empty it out, jump to the head of your mat. Halfway lift, tricep pull, fold down, extended mountain, root your feet, reach up, forward fold. Halfway lift, tricep pull, high push up, knee tap, knee tap, low push up, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Three big breaths in, push the air out. Two more, full breath. 
Big exhale. Last one. Exhale completely. Step or jump. Halfway lift, tricep pull. Fold down. One more sunday, rise up to standing. Reach up, forward fold. Halfway lift, tricep pull. High push up. Knee tap on the right, knee tap on the left. Low push up. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe in together. Push the air back out. Breath number two. Big exhale. Last one. Empty it out. Step or jump forward. Halfway lift, tricep pull. Fold down. Chair pose and stay. Sit way back in your hips. Lift and spread your toes off of the mat. Yes, now squeeze your inner thighs together. Nice, Rata. Now one more breath here. Twist right on your exhale. Inhale, open your arms. Stay for the breath out. Back to chair, breathe in. Twist left on your exhale. Breathe in to open. Stay and breathe out. Back to chair. Forward fold. Halfway lift, tricep pull. High push up. Knee on the right, knee on the left, low push up. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right side warrior one, step through. You can have weights in your hands or open palms. Chaturanga, hands to the floor. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left side, warrior one, step, press, lift your chest up to the ceiling, high to low push up. Upward facing, downward facing dog. Breath in together, clear it out. Full inhale, big exhale. Last one, empty completely, step or jump forward. Halfway lift, tricep pull, fold down. Chair pose for one breath this time. Reach, twist right on your exhale. Open your arms, breathe in, stay for the breath out. Back to chair, twist left. Inhale to open, stay and twist. Chair pose, fold. Halfway lift, tricep pull, high push up. Knee tap. Knee tap, low push up, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, warrior one, right side, step through, take a deep lunge in that front leg, low push up, hands to the mat, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, left side, step through, warrior one, stretch the sides of your body up to your ears, low push up, big breath in up dog. Let it out and down, dog. Breath in together. Empty it out. <sighs> Good. Two more. In. Exhale. Last one. Exhale completely. Jump to the head of your mat. Halfway lift. Tricep pull. Fold down. Chair pose. Sit deep. Twist right. Inhale open. Stay and twist. Good. Chair pose. Reach. Twist left. Breathe into open. Stay and breathe out. Chair pose. Fold. Halfway lift. Tricep pull. High push up. Knee tap on the right. Knee tap on the left. Low push up. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right side warrior one. Step through. Take your gaze in your chest right up to the ceiling. Low push up, hands to the floor. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left side, warrior one. Step, press down and reach. High to low push up. Upward facing. Downward facing. Breath in together. Empty it out. Two more, in. Big exhale. Last one. Exhale completely. Move forward. Halfway lift. Tricep pull. Fold down. Chair pose. Sit back and lift your toes. Twist right. Inhale open. Stay and breathe out. 
back to chair. Twist left. Breathe in to expand. Stay and get all the air back out. Chair pose. Forward fold. Halfway lift, tricep pull. High push up. Knee on the right, knee on the left. Low push up. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right side warrior one, step through. Plug your big toe mounds down into the mat. Chaturanga. Upward facing, downward facing. Left side, step through. Warrior one, a long, slow inhale all the way up to your fingertips. Chaturanga. Upward facing, downward facing dog. Breathe in together. Push the air out. Breath in. Exhale. Last one. Get all the air back out. Move forward. Halfway lift, tricep pull. Fold down, last sun beat, chair pose. Twist right. Breathe in and open. Stay in twist. Back to chair. Twist left. Open on the inhale. Stay for the exhale. Back to chair. Forward fold. Halfway lift, tricep pull. High push up. Knee tap. Knee tap. Low push up. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right side warrior one. Last one on this side. Lunge deep, lift high. Low push up. Upward facing. Downward facing. Left side, warrior one. Plant and reach all the way up. Chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Whew, I'm already starting to sweat too, so we're in a good space. Send your right leg up to the sky. Bend your knee and open your hip. Stay three-legged or flip your dog. And then full connection. Feet on the floor, fingertips on the floor. Big, expressive pose. Flip back over, side plank. Send your left hand straight up to the sky. You can have a weight in that top hand or open palm up to you. Squeeze the pit of your belly in and up and then hug your front ribs into center. Good. You've got one more breath here. High to low push up. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Send your left leg up to the sky. Bend your knee. Open your hip. Stay or flip. Press down on purpose, intentional with everything that's touching the floor so you can lift and expand even more. Flip back over, side plank. Whatever hand you've got on the floor right now, press down with your fingertips and the edge of your palm. Press the ground away so it'll pull your armpit up into your body. Beautiful. One more breath here. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take one breath in together. A full breath out, right side crescent lunge. Step your right foot through. Get the whole ball mound of your back foot down on the floor. Each one of your toes on your back foot down on the floor. Then hands up to the sky. Come a little bit deeper into your lunging leg. Yeah, commit to it. Skin to muscle to bone on both of your legs. And we'll take knee dips with the back leg so you can lower it and tap your mat or lower to hover. Go for five, four, three, two, one. Reach up tall. Hands to heart twist right. Put your elbow just outside your knee. You can stick with palm to palm or open up your arms. How's your breathing here? Make it purposeful, make it intentional, and then keep that front big toe mount plugged down into the mat. Take one more breath together. Stay for the whole exhale. Twist, warrior two, come up and around. Make any adjustments you need to make in your feet and then commit to a nice deep lunge. Knee stacked right over your front ankle. Extended side angle, elbow to your front thigh or fingertips down by your front arch. 
Whichever variation of this pose you want to try on, go for it. So you can reach both arms past the front edge of your mat, take a bind, whatever you need to take to create full expression here. Now soften the toes on your front foot, press the center of your front heel down instead. Yeah, there you go, Brian. You've got one more breath here. Chaturanga, hands to the mat. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left side crescent lunge. Step your foot through. The whole sole of your front foot immediately in the ground, especially the big toe mound to keep that work coming up the inner line of that front leg. Hands up to the sky. Knee dips with the back knee. Go for five, four, three, two, one. Reach up tall. Hands to heart. Twist left. Stay connected to your feet. All the toes on the back foot right down into the mat. Then a nice broad stretch across the whole top of your chest. One more inhale together. Stay for the whole exhale. Warrior two, unwind. Deep lunge in the front leg. Commit to it. Knee over the ankle and then make your way into extended side angle. Elbow to thigh or fingertips to arch. Stretch a big long line from the back edge of your back foot all the way out through your top fingertips. And then create the pose how you need to make it. Create the bind, reach both arms ahead so that every part of your body is part of the pose. You've got one more inhale here. Full expression, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take a full breath in together. Sigh it out. Yeah, get clear. Breathe in. Breath out. One more. Exhale completely. Step or jump, feet to hands. Halfway lift, tricep pull, fold down. Chair pose and stay. Sit way back in your hips. Far enough back that you can lift and spread your toes off of the mat. Yes, all of the way back for one more breath. Then make your way to iron footstool. Rise onto the ball mounts of your feet and reach your arms straight forward. Stretch them out in front of you. Good. One more breath. Reach. Drop the heels. Hands to heart. Twist right. Spread your arms apart. Get those shoulder blades together on your back. Stay here in the heat of your legs for five, four, three, two, one. Chair pose. Fold. First two fingers around your big toes. Yeah, and you can shake out your head if you want or bend and straighten your legs. Give yourself the space you need in this fold. Release your grip. Take crow pose from the head of your mat. Crow number one of two. So you can play around with side crow tonight if you want. Go for it. Fingertips on the mat, pit of the belly in and up. Take your pose. Set your gaze right on one spot. Drishti. You've got one more breath wherever you are. Step or jump back, low push up. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take one breath in together, a big breath out. Step or jump forward. Halfway lift, tricep pull. Fold down. Chair pause. Way down into it. Send your tailbone to the back edge of your mat so it'll stretch out your low back. Toes light and lifted to start because you know where you're headed, but keep the weight back to start. Last breath to reach. Iron footstool. Rise to the ball mounds of your feet and reach forward. Yes. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Good. Drop the heels, hands to heart, twist left. Spread your arms apart. Keep that connection, that skin to muscle to bone connection on both of your legs for five, four, three, two, one. Chair pose, forward fold. Gorilla, step on your palms. 
toes all the way up to your wrists. Then you can play with shifting the weight in your gorilla or moving the weight forward and back in your feet. Catch up with your breathing if it got away from you. Take that rhythmic breath with you to your second set of crow. Go for it. If you want to take this one upside down, be my guest. You take on the pose that works best. Fingertips connected or feet if they're touching the floor, connected on purpose. Nice. You've got one more breath here. Step or jump back. Low push up. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take a full breath in together. Empty it out. Breathe in. Exhale. Last one. Empty it out. Move forward, feet to hands. Halfway lift. Fold down. Rise up to standing. Eagle pose, right side. Right arm under, right leg over. Pick a spot that's not moving in front of you, your focal point right from the start. And then keep building the breath. Purposeful inhales, super long exhales to clear everything up and out of your system. Keep your arms bound. Take airplane with your legs. Stretch through the sole of your foot. Make it super long, straight back behind you. Beautiful. Full airplane, reach your arms straight back. Heart wide open, past the front edge of your mat. Nice, Delila. Half moon, open up. Left hand to the floor to a block. Right hand up to the ceiling. Take up as much space as humanly possible. Out through the hands and out through the feet. You've got one more breath. Both feet to the mat. Eagle pose, left side. Left arm under, left leg over. Wrap, squat down, <clears throat> eyes on one point. Settle into the breath. Let your exhale settle you down into the sole of your standing foot. Arms stay bound, airplane with your legs. Stretch it out. Even though the arms are bound, can you reach them further forward a little bit? Good, full airplane, reach the arms back, stretch back with that lifted foot. Half moon, open up. Stretch yourself apart, the center of your body, squeezing in the rest of your body, reaching out, fingertips to feet. Big inhale, expand, feet to the mat. Eagle pose, right side, second set. Wrap the limbs, squat down nice and deep. Set your gaze. Get settled. Four corners of your standing foot straight into the floor. Warrior three, press your foot straight back, reach your arms straight out in front. So you can interlace the fingers and reach them forward or reach both arms apart and straight forward. Yes, super long, foot to fingertips, as long as it'll go. Then standing splits, hands to the floor or hands to your standing ankle. That lifted leg as high as it'll go. Use the hamstring on the back of your leg to help lift it two inches higher than both feet to the mat. Rise up to standing. Eagle pose, left side, last set, left arm under, left leg over. Eyes focused, breath focused. Super intentional. Warrior three, reach the arms forward, press your foot straight back. Get as long as humanly possible. You pull in the pit of your belly, in and up to create that stretch from point to point. Standing splits, hands to the floor, the ankle. Keep the steady breath moving so there's the sense of lightness 
a sense of openness to the standing splits. One more inhale, both feet to the mat. Rise up to standing. Standing bow or dancer's pose, right side. Soft crease of the elbow faces out for your standing bow. Go for it, take your pose. It's your opportunity to take stock of where things are, take stock of how much space you've got in your physical body, press your shins straight back, and then start to work your chest further forward. Good, last breath, switch. Left side, standing bow or dancer. Eyes on one spot. Then slowly expand bit by bit in all directions. How much space can you take up? Last breath, switch, right side, second set. If you wanna to switch to dancers and grab the towel or the strap for that, go right ahead, take your pose. Fine tune this one a bit. Pick one physical thing that's happening in your body and put all of your attention there. Could be your attention on your standing big toe, plugging that into the floor. Your gaze staying focused on one spot. Last breath, switch. Last one, standing bow or dancer. All the way into it. Pick that one physical thing that's happening and be right there for it. Could be the attention on your standing knee. Like there's a softness there so the muscle could squeeze into the bone. One more inhale. Both feet to the floor. Tree pose, right side. Start with cactus arms in this one. So you can have weights in your hands for the cactus arms or just open palms. That's up to you. Then squeeze your ribs together on the front and your shoulder blades together on your back. Open hands or weights both ways. Hands tap overhead. 10, 9, 8, 7. Eyes on one spot. 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides, left side tree. Set up the feet. You can stick with cactus, or if you've got weights and want to do a tricep press, you bring your weights together behind your head. Elbows point up to the ceiling, and you'll press straight up to the ceiling. Go for a count of 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Feet to the floor. Extended mountain. Reach your hands up to the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. Lengthen out your spine. High push up and pause. Right knee to right elbow. Left knee to left elbow, low push up. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in together, clear it out. Breath number two, exhale. Last one, push all the air back out. Right side triangle, step your right foot between your hands, keep the breath flowing can have that right hand down on your shin or have it on a block outside your shin. Stretch out from the center of the pose. So work your way up, feet in the mat, and then everything else stretched up and away. Big and expansive. Press into your feet, rise all the way up to standing. Side facing wide leg fold, turn both feet to face the long edge of your mat and hinge forward. Two options here tonight. You can work the fold or take ninja lunges left and right. You choose what works best. And if you're working the fold, work to stretch out your spine from tailbone to the crown of your head. Super long. 
Those of you doing the ninja lunges side to side, if there's like a sticky spot or a tight spot, hang out there for a breath or two. See if you can coax it to open. Good. Few more breaths to get complete with wherever you're working. Press into your feet. Rise all the way up to standing. Namaste, front facing forward fold or splits facing the front edge of your mat. If you're taking the namaste fold, take a bind behind your back, hand to elbow or reverse namaste, then hinge forward. Steady, rhythmic breath. Make it purposeful. Let it fill your entire chest all the way out to the edges of your ribs. Good. Twisting triangle or twisting split. Ring yourself out to the side of the room. Press your heart right up to the surface of your chest so your collarbones can get further apart. One more breath right here. Chaturanga, hands to the mat. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take one breath in together. A big breath out, left side triangle, step through. <clears throat> Super wide base, start with the feet and work your way up. Then create the space. So not only are your arms and legs reaching apart from one another, but they stretch apart from one another. The muscles stretch out long and pull the limbs physically further apart. Plug your big toe mounds into the mat. Rise up to standing. Side facing wide leg fold, this time with a bind. So interlace your fingers at your low back, or you can have a towel between your hands. Hinge forward. Let there be space in your shoulders, your upper back, maybe the front side of your shoulders. Let it all stretch out. Steady, rhythmic breath. Release your hands down. Rise all the way up to standing. Namaste, front facing or splits, facing the front edge of the mat. Set up the feet. Both of them fully connected, fully in participation of the pose. Then hinge forward. Super long spine, tail to crown as you fold or as you take your split. Then notice if one foot starts to take more weight than the other one, see if you can even it back out. Twisting triangle or twisting split, go for it. Let the twist start from the center of your chest, the pit of your belly, and then the rest of the torso opens up into it. So you're taking up the deepest twist possible right from the center line. Take one more breath together here. Chaturanga, hands to the mat. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. Exhale it out. Two more, breathe in. Exhale. Last one, fill. Big exhale out. Roll out to a high plank. Shoulders stacked right on top of your wrists. Press the ground away with your fingertips. We'll stay for a few breaths here so you can hold the plank or take mountain climbers. March your knees in towards your nose. Stay for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Lower all the way to the mat. Locust pose or Superman. Locust, reach your hands back by your hips. Superman, reach the arms out in front. Rise up and away from the mat. Up and away. Get your body as long as humanly possible and then squeeze your inner thighs together. A long, narrow line. One more breath, lower down. Rock your hips out left and right. 
Second set, locust pose or Superman. You can pick the same pose or switch to the other one. Rise up and away from the mat. Stretch your body out. Let the breath, even the breath, help lengthen your entire body from toes to fingertips and lower down. Take it side to side. Floor bone number one of two. Bend your knees and grab your ankles. Press your shins straight back. Rise up. Big, full, open stretch across the front line of your body, building your way to the peak poses of your sequence. One more breath. Lower down. Knees side to side. Second set, switch legs or grab both ankles again. Floor bow. Rise up. Flex your ankles and press your feet straight up to the ceiling. Yes, good adjustments. Last breath in, lower down. Take it side to side. Upward facing dog, rise up off your mat. Downward facing dog, press back. Take one breath in, a full breath out, jump through to sit, come down onto your back for bridge pose. Plant your feet in the floor, knees bent, rise up right away. You can clasp your hands underneath you, or you can take cactus arms and press the arms down that way. Big toe mounts straight down into the floor, intentional and on purpose. Then bring your right knee into your chest. Press your right foot up to the sky. Keep the leg long and straight or pulse it up to the ceiling for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch legs. Left knee in, left leg up to the sky. Stay or pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Lower down, knees side to side. All right, yogis, it's time. It's time for sticking with bridge or moving onto your first wheel pose. Tuck your fingertips under your shoulders. Press, lift, go. Right up and away from the mat. Big and open and expressive. Tuck your chin, lower down. Breathe in together. Big breath out. Number two, press, lift, go. Bridge your wheel, come up and away from the mat. Wide open space across your chest. Tuck your chin, lower down. Breathe in together. Big breath out together. Number three, press, lift, go. Huge line, fingertips to feet, fully connected. Come on down. Breathe in, breath out. Press and go. Wheel pose. You got this. You're past the halfway point. Eyes set right on one point. Lower down. Breath in. Breath out. Number five. Only two more. Bridge your wheel. Come up and away from the mat. You just keep recommitting to the back bend to see what becomes available. Then make your way down. Breath in. Breath out. Press and go. Last one. Last bridge. Last wheel. Stay up for five, four, three, two, one. Come on down. Supta Baddha Konasana. Good work. Feet together. Eyes right on one spot, right up at the ceiling. Let your heart move that blood, the energy around your body the heat around your body, happy baby or dead bug, soles of the feet up to the sky, the whole back of your pelvis, your whole spine down on the floor, legs straight up in the air, set yourself up for scissor legs, hands can be behind your head or underneath your hips, lower your right leg halfway to the mat. Take a deep breath in together. Exhale, switch your legs. Breathe in. Exhale, switch. Keep moving with your breath. Keep the switch on the exhale. 
the whole pit of your belly straight down to the mat. Keep going for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Legs straight up. Hands can move to under your hips if you want them there. Lower both legs 30 degrees. Lower them 60. Lower to hover. Flutter kick the feet. Five, four, three, two, one. Legs straight up. Reset. Belly down, shoulders down. Lower both legs 30. Lower them 60. Lower to hover. Open and close the legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Legs straight up. One more set, shoulders down and belly down, reset, lower 30, lower 60, lower to hover, tiny circles with the feet, five, four, three, two, one, legs straight up, knees into your chest, rock forward and back three times, come up into boat pose with your hands, a block or weights right at heart center. Right at heart center so we can roll the boat side to side. Go for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Downward facing dog. Good stuff. Doing that work. Right side half pigeon, right knee to right wrist, or you can take this pose on your back and hug your right shin to your chest. Right side half pigeon, and then sit you, situate yourself so that your forehead has a place to rest. On the floor, on a block, on your stacked hands. Steady breathing. Let that be a constant that carries you all the way to the end of your practice. An intentional breathing that keeps your awareness in the room. You get distracted, no big deal. You come right back. Get distracted again, no big deal. Come right back. Let the focus be on the coming back and less on the, oh, I messed up or I got distracted part. You've got a few more breaths here. You can stay right where you are on your half pigeon or take king pigeon. Rise up and grab a hold of your back ankle or your back foot. Downward facing dog, shake it out. Left side half pigeon, left knee to left wrist or left shin in toward your chest. Back into the breathing. That on purpose choice to stay in the breath from the moment you started your practice all the way to Shavasana. Stay or King Pigeon.
Big full breaths. One more inhale. Downward facing dog. Frog poses next. You can take the pose facing your facing the floor with your knees on your mat or on your back with your feet against the wall. Once you've got yourself situated, flex ankles so both feet can go out straight to the left and straight to the right. And then there's nothing else to do but focus on your breath. You took the shape of the pose, let gravity do the work. And if you get a few breaths into your frog pose and it feels like, okay, I'm kind of letting my stomach hang towards the floor now, or I can open my hips up a little bit wider on the wall, like make that adjustment and then come back to stillness. That purposeful adjustment and then stillness. Three more full breath cycles in your frog pose. Full inhale with a pause, full exhale with a pause. And after your third full breath cycle, start to make your way out of your frog. And as you start to make your way out, find your way onto your mat for seated single leg extension. Right leg out, left heel in. And fold over your extended leg. All of this work, the building of the heat, the building of the sweat, so that things can soften and stretch and melt back open. Toes right up to the ceiling. Switch legs, opposite one in front. Toes up to the ceiling. And using either your hands or the muscles in your foot, turn the outer edge, the pinky toe edge of your face back toward your face. Pinky toe edge of your foot, rather, back towards your face. Seated forward fold, both legs straight out in front. Fold over your hips. Let the whole top half of your body melt over your legs. A long stretch down the spine, down the backs of your legs. Tabletop or reverse plank. Plant your palms behind your hips. Fingertips face the front edge of your mat and then rise up and away from the floor. Chest up to the ceiling, hips up to the ceiling, wide open space across your chest. Lower your hips, fish pose. You can stick your block between your shoulder blades or you can tuck your hands underneath you. Eyes stay open, let them land right on one spot. Yeah, feet awake, they can be pointed, toes pointed or ankles flexed. Both are the right answer. 
Take one more breath together here. Exhale it through your mouth. Make your way off your block, untuck your hands, then come down onto your back. Last opportunity to get upside down. Waterfall, shoulder stand, any type of headstand or handstand work you want to do. It's on the table. And as you make your way upside down, take your breath with you. A conscious choice to have the breath travel all the way up towards your feet and all the way back down to your lungs. Feet awake and toes awake, no matter what inversion you choose. Nice control. Headstands, handstands. You've got another breath or two, and then child's pose to reset. No rush. Waterfalls, shoulder stands. You can make your way to plow. Long legs in your plow. Let the backs of your legs stretch out behind you. Plow to deaf yogi. Bend your knees and hug them along the sides of your head. And slowly lower down, piece by piece, bone by bone. Hug your knees into your chest. When you get there, give them a squeeze. And drop your knees over to the right. Twist and look left, supine twist. You can straighten out that top leg if you want and get a stretch in your IT band along the outside of your leg. Supine twist, opposite way. Supta Baddha Konasana. Press the soles of your feet to touch one last time. Let your knees drop out. Heavy and grounded. Bones heavy and grounded. Shavasana. You've got a cold eye towel if you're in studio up at the top corner of your mat. Let your legs stretch out long. Let your arms stretch out long by your sides. Take one last breath in. Feel yourself up and up and up. Exhale it out. Let your entire body rest easy on your mat.
Deepen your breath. Bring some movement back into your hands and your feet. Plant your feet on the floor and rock onto your right side. And with your eyes still closed, press down and rise up. Take a comfortable seat. Inhale, reach your hands overhead. Exhale, thumbs to heart center. We'll finish out class together with three final ohms. Take a deep breath in. Ah. Ah. Deep breath in, exhale it out. Thumb knuckles to forehead center. Thank you. Coming into the studio, signing in virtually, and making a sweaty practice happen. Namaste. Good work, everybody. All right. Have an awesome rest of your Thursday, and hopefully I will see you tomorrow at 4.